Geekism update video, take one. Turn that air car. Ah. Hello, you welcome to Geekism and welcome to the summer update video for the channel. I don't do these very often, to be honest, um, I very rarely have anything to say. Uh, but there's a few things that I wanted to talk about uh, that probably are a little bit more important than just sticking at the start of a video. So I thought I'd let you guys see my beautiful face and on the new setup as well. This is all, this is the first time I think you've seen Canadian setup. It's a little bit of it anyway. Um, there's a full picture of it on the Patreon if you're interested. Uh, right, talking of Patreon, we're going to mention that in a little while. But first of all, live straight, I've got, I've got everything written down in my little YouTube book because... I am that guy that has a YouTube book. Live streams are coming back to Geekism, not quite in the same way they were before. Uh, we were streaming quite a bit over on Twitch a few times a week. Unfortunately, my schedule just doesn't allow for it here in Canada at the moment. I am now full-time both YouTuber and dad. Uh, so I stay at home with Xander most weekdays at the moment while Nicola goes out and does a proper job. Uh, and I'm recording video time here and where as I can. Uh, but I do now find myself with an afternoon free each week. So we're going to be bringing back live streams to YouTube. Um, Twitch is only really worth it if you're going to be doing a lot of very regular content over there. So for now, we're going to keep live streams on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to unlock all the all the stuff that you can sign up for and all that if you're interested, like you could on Twitch with the emotes and all that kind of thing as well. But we'll worry about that uh, once it gets started. The first one is going to be Monday coming. That's going to be so first of the month we're going to start weekly live streams here back on YouTube. Uh, most likely going to be playing some Planet Coaster for the time being. Uh, I think we might go back into Geekism Studios and have a look what that's looking like. Uh, and probably we'll play some Planet Zoo when that comes out as well. Those are most likely going to be our big games as we move forward through 2019. So I do appreciate all the support I got over on Twitch when I was there more regularly. Uh, hopefully I can look at doing that in the future. Although at, at the situation it stands at the moment, it ain't going to be until Xander goes to nursery, which is a probably a couple of years down the line but you know not never say never who knows the channel blows up currently and I can st stick in with a nanny then uh, <laughs> maybe we will but for now at least uh, it'd be great to reconnect with the community uh, the only way you can do with live streaming you know you just get that sort of one-to-one -one stuff that you just don't get with regular videos I can't wait to bring it back to the channel next a big announcement then it, well it's probably more big for me than you really honestly but I thought you might be interested uh, is that I am going to be building a new PC this this summer, uh, mostly ready for Planet Zoo, although I don't think we have official specs yet. It's going to be a beefy game. Planet Coaster was pretty beefy when it came out, and looking at the screenshots for Planet Zoo, it only looks better. Uh, obviously, you've got all that animal AI, you've got all them fur shaders and stuff. The game looks gorgeous, and it's only fair for me to be able to bring you the best looking content for it as well on the channel. Um, I have built PCs before, so it's not going to be completely new to me. The one I'm using at the moment is a custom build, but it's pushing five years old now. And it's about time. Uh, whilst it did, it was a top end when I built it. It is starting to feel a little rough around the edges now. Uh, a lot of new technologies coming out. A lot, of, you know, things with the new graphics cards, like the ray tracing and stuff. Although I'm not too sure whether that will really play much effect in a lot of the games we play. You know, Sims and Tycoons don't normally uh, push the graphics that far. But who knows? Uh, also, you know, just the chipset for the uh, CPUs have all got much more as well. Bigger RAM, all that kind of thing. So, new PC is coming. Uh, unfortunately, all of the uh, PC manufacturing or, or, or sort of PC component manufacturers that I use and like to use, uh, I did get in touch with them saying, hi, I'm a YouTuber, is there any way you might want to help sponsor? Uh, that either didn't get back to me or they got back to me with a no. So it does mean that it's going to have to come out of my own pocket, uh, which is fine. Um, you know, it just means we might have to kind of trim and save a little bit. Uh, because we are still in the process of moving to Canada, although we're here and our bums are on the ground, there's still so much to sort out and uh, uh, and all that sort of stuff. So while I feel that I'm going to need a new computer for Planet Zoo, because I've done the checks on the specs that we have so far and this doesn't look like it's going to do too well, uh, yeah, it is going to be quite an expensive job. Uh, with that in mind, I'd like to talk to you again about Patreon. Every few months I mention this. I did, the last video I did for Patreon was really not great. It was when I lost my job and it was kind of a, please give me money because we were really struggling uh, we are doing better now you know the 
channel is bringing in a wage. It's towards minimum wage, but it's a wage still. Uh, but things like Patreon are a great way to not only support the channel, uh, but to help me sort of have a wage because uh, ad revenue and all the other sort of forms of revenue you can get as a YouTube channel is so in flux up and down every single month. Uh, Patreon and sort of crowdfunding is the closest thing we can get to an actual wage. And obviously uh, with a new PC coming, with new games coming and all that sort of stuff, it is going to be quite costly. So if you have ever been interested in supporting a creator and you can spare a dollar three dollars a month that's all i'm asking for we don't have huge crazy tiers where you get you know naked photos of me or anything like that. i'd be paying you for those jeez uh you know just one dollar three dollars a couple of dollars not even the cost of a coffee a month it probably wasn't mean that much to you but to me it makes a huge difference in being able to bring this content on a regular basis to you and being able to keep improving that content our next tier that we're really close to hitting actually for eight hundred dollars we're currently sitting around 650 or so for eight hundred dollars is actually going to be a weekly uh, sort of podcast although it'll be a YouTube video but also it'll go out to podcast feeds um, of just sort of regular sort of all the different gaming news that's happening tycoon news sim news all that kind of stuff some PC part stuff in there as well all the kind of stuff that I'd love to talk to you about I just don't really have the ability to at the moment the the extra income that's coming from that will help uh, you know we'd be able to look at putting Xander into nursery a little bit more to give us some more time because at the moment he just kind of goes two days a week another great way you can support the channel is with merch. I'm actually wearing some of mine today. The school of this one's getting a bit tatty now. This is a couple of years old. I think need to get my, myself a new one. Uh, but we've now gone to Teespring, a fantastic merch creator. At the moment, we have some T-shirts. Um, this week, there's going to be a mug and a baseball cap going up as well. Uh, so we're still working on those. Uh, want to get them really just nice and right for you. One of the big things I do with the merch is I make the margin as small as I possibly can so you can still get it for a great price. They often want to stick like $15 profit on a t-shirt and I think that's ridiculous. It makes the t-shirts like $30 so instead I grab them down to like $20 just make $5 a shirt so it's a smaller margin for me but it means you guys can get some awesome geekism swag for a great price. So check out the links in the description. I think if you're watching on the YouTube desktop there's like little buttons you can click as well uh, so you can check all of those out. Also, another great way to support the channel is through Instant Gaming, one of our partners. This is one of these uh, key conglomerate companies. They buy keys in bulk and able to sell them on at a discount price. Uh, I've used them for years, and now you can use them and kick back to geekism a little as well. Again, there's a link in the description. Just set that link to be your bookmark, and whenever a new game comes out, make sure you go and check out Instant Gaming. They usually have it, and um, and you can get a great price. Even even like brand new stuff, like the Sims DLCs, they get like 20% off straight away. And not only do you get a good price on them uh, I get a little kickback as well so it's a really great way to support the channel and as a bit of a thank you from Instant Gaming we are currently running a competition to win anything on their site it says any game but you can even win one of the sort of PlayStation Network cards or like the Xbox Live points I don't really know how that kind of thing works but you know the points cards or you know monthly recurring I think they have wow subscriptions on there all that kind of stuff basically anything they sell if you win the competition you get to pick something from their site that they sell again link in the description for that make sure you head over there chance to win yourself a free game and again support geekism while you're at it so i feel like i'm just kind of asking for money again so just to reiterate some of the cool stuff that's coming uh we've got live streams coming back once a week onto the channel new pc build hopefully this summer ready for planet zoo again i'll, I'll vlog all of that as well do some like build videos and stuff because uh, i know a lot of people are interested in that kind of stuff as well and also the behind the scenes stuff as i buy the oh, i'm knocking my microphone i'm getting all excited as i buy the parts uh, and things we'll be doing some behind the scenes stuff on patreon so again if you're able to and you're interested make sure you check that out for some extra little goodies as well i apologize if i look a little clammy it is so warm here i, I know people from north america people from all over the world are probably going to comment saying you call that warm uh it's around about 30 degrees here celsius uh but with the humidity it feels about 33 34 35 my pasty white British ass cannot cope with this heat. And of course, to record this video, aircon's gone, patio door's shut. So uh, yeah, I'm cooking right now. So I'm gonna go and wrap this up and get the aircon back on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give us a like. It really does help out. If you're not already sub subscribed, which I imagine you are if you're watching this, this isn't really the kind of video new people find. So I'm talking here to all the amazing subscribers of the channel, uh, but you know, you know the drill. You wanna have a chat, you can find me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
So I do appreciate all the support we got over on Twitch when I was over there more regular. Regular. First of July. Okay, so start of the month, we're going to start weekly live streams here. Weekly live streams. <laughs>